Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be discussing bronzers for fair skin. I'm obviously a fair skinned lady and honestly I just filmed the highlighter version of this video so I'm assuming that will likely be up already because I like to go in order as much as possible and I'm going to be uploading a lot more during this time period so you'll get extra videos versus my standard Tuesday and Friday videos. Yeah, as always, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, <sighs> but I do make a commission on all Arbonne products purchased through my link in the description box. <sighs> all right, let's get on into this video. All right, so we're gonna start off with this baby right here. This is the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Bali Sands. It has a visible dent made in this. It is more warm toned than I occasionally prefer. <laughs> so yeah, it's a great bronzer. You can really layer it up easily. You can use it in your crease for, I don't know, pretty much all bronzers I end up using in my crease at some point. But yeah, I love this one and it retails for $38 on the Sephora website, which is where I purchased this Bye Bye. But yeah, I do like it. I like a lot of Becca products, honestly, except the one powder, but <laughs> you've probably seen that in another video. The seven year old picks out my makeup. So, all right, next we're going to go into the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette, which retails for $42. I love this palette and then I even got an extra one in one of my boxy charms which I gave to this to my neighbor who is one of my best friends so I, I should check and see how she's liking it honestly but I tend to stick to these two shades right here in the middle so or no not that one <laughs> these two so princess cut and angle I like these two this one is more cool toned and it works really well on my face. I used it today <laughs> and I have it in my crease and um, at my lower lash line. For, so Princess Cut, such a gorgeous color and these always smell like chocolate tart. <laughs> where, where did you get this idea to have everything smell like a faint chocolate and it's, oh my gosh. In the scent, I've had this for probably over a year at this point even though 12 month expiration for powders. Who actually follows that? Not me. But it's so beautiful. It's so travel friendly. And if you want and feel a little bold, you can use this one as a bit of a shimmery bronzer. Or if you're more on the darker skin tone, you can use this one for a shimmery bronzer. But I tend to like my bronzers more on the matte side. So next, we're gonna stick with the Tarte theme here. This is the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. And this retails for $45. And I got this in a subscription box. Got mirrors on the sides. So I'm gonna have to hold it awkwardly to not blind you. But it does have the two bronzers on the bottom. Um, honestly, I tend to use the matte one down here the most. But occasionally I'll add a little bit of the shimmer and just mix them both. I love them a lot. The highlights are a bit too dark for me and if I have a light hand, I can usually manage to pull off some of that blush. <sighs> Especially now that I'm getting more into blush, I have been playing around with it more, so I should probably dip into this more. I especially like this cool tone shade. It's really, that is the cool tone, right? right? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes it is. But yeah, um, also the bronzers, they're, they are always just so buttery smooth. The Tarte has a great formula for just highlighters, bronzers, blushes even. I love them. And it's got the names on the bottom back. So Autograph and Backstage are the names of the bronzers. So this is a great duo, or duo, wow. Great palette for every day just taking it around which i have done because it's got it's got blush it's got highlight if you're a tiny bit darker than me or you do a very gentle light hand with it and you can use that as eyeshadow of course and then it's got bronzers so it is a great 
palette just for on the go. Next, I have the um, Sephora palette, contour palette. <sighs> I'm still getting, starting to get more comfortable using it. It's got some darker shades and it is very pigmented so I have to be very careful and use a lighter hand with this. And it is Sephora brand so it's going to be cheaper than most products that you're going to find at Sephora. This retails for generally $29. I checked on all the prices on these last night. I, um, I use these two the most. Occasionally I'll add a bit of this shade like for like my crease and my eyes and stuff. So I get use out of that. And same with this color. I'll use that on as like a setting powder for my eyes and everything because it does have that pigment. It is a very nice, it's a nice palette. It comes in handy, especially if you're gonna be going around using it on others. It is great quality for the money. Just be careful, it is pigmented. Last but not least is the Benefit Hula Light Bronzer. I had a mini of the original and it was so dark it scared me but this one I can actually build up. I tossed away the brush it came with. I'm not a fan of it just no no thank you. It is very cute it is travel friendly you can tell it's very it's square though I feel occasionally that they could have just made the packaging a little more narrow, made it easier to close instead of just like, and then getting a shade or getting one of the corners to go in. And I've got dents on both sides in the palette or in there, just showing that I have occasionally dented it with the corners. It smells kind of tropically, but I don't, I don't know. It's very faint scent wise. And this retails for $30 generally. I like it. It is pretty. It is very buildable. It is. Just, I like it. It's great. Versatile. And I recommend it. This video has a lot less products than the highlight video because I'm very scared with my bronzers. And I found what I like so I'm not going to keep purchasing. But highlight, I feel, I don't know, you can never have enough highlight because I'm a highlight girl, like, come on. But yeah, as always, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me. Ring that bell, subscribe, that whole jazz, see more of my face, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Oh, and uh, I love you.